Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business platform that keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. Today's bulletin is powered by Still. This is Kushi Mudgal. Let's take a quick look at the top 5 headlines of the day. Divya Kala Mela 2024 showcases vibrant artisans, eco-friendly products, packaged food and more. Minister Sarbananda Sonowal launches ground-breaking initiatives to propel Ayurveda and homeopathy. United States resumes importing Russian oil defying sanctions. Niti Aayog and WFP launch inspirational compendium leading a global millet movement. India sets for a sustainable pathway at 2024 climate conference. Now the news in detail. The Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities Divyangjan under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment Government of India is set to kick off the Divya Kala Mela a unique event highlighting the talents and craftsmanship of divyang entrepreneurs and artisans from all corners of the country the event organized by the National Divyangjan Finance and Development Corporation will take place from January 12th to January 21st 2024 at Ground 3 Reshim Bagh Nagpur The inauguration of the Divya Kala Mela in Nagpur took place yesterday graced by esteemed personalities including Om Prakash MLA and chairman Divyang Kalyan State Level Committee Maharashtra In a significant move to bolster the Ayush sector in Northeast India Union Minister of Ayush and Ports Shipping and Waterways Sarbananda Sonowal unveiled four major initiatives. The inauguration ceremony took place at the Central Ayurveda Research Institute in Guwahati, where a dedicated panchkarm block and a cutting-edge pharmacology and biochemistry lab for Ayush was inaugurated. The newly inaugurated panchkarma block, the first of its kind in the northeast region, covers an expansive area of 9,453.30 square feet. costing over rupees 7.72 crore this facility is poised to provide affordable panchkarma therapies to the public the united states has renewed its import of russian oil for the first time in over a year defying the ongoing sanctions related to moscow's military intervention in ukraine in october and november the us imported 36800 9900 barrels of russian oil valued at 2.7 million dollars and 7 lakh 49500 dollars respectively these imports were facilitated through specific licenses issued by the us department of the treasury's office of foreign assets control responsible for sanctions enforcement A compendium featuring compelling field stories from Asian and African nations with particular emphasis on India was released in New Delhi marking a significant step towards the promotion of sustainable agricultural methods and the improvement of food security. The primary objective of the compendium is to facilitate capacity building and scale up best practices in the global adoption of millets. Millets known for their climate resilience, nutritional benefits, and positive impact on small farmers livelihoods have gained prominence especially in india during the international year of millets in 2023 the climate conference 2024 centered around the theme decoding the green transition for india unfolded on january 12 2024 The event orchestrated by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India, placed a spotlight on the crucial role of the private sector, climate tech startups and institutional investors in driving financial resources and technical capabilities towards sustainable development. The primary objective of the conference was to align private sector efforts with government initiatives, engage civil society, empower communities and foster the creation of innovative climate services and adaptation technologies. That's all for today's news. We'll be back with some more news updates tomorrow. For more updates and agri news, stay tuned with Krishi Jagran Business. This is Khushi Mudgal signing off.